Hey, welcome back to Bob's Two Car Garage. Now, the last couple weeks we've been working on this background for this stage set at a venue at our church and uh, started off just a blank white wall. It was kind of boring, and uh, but we got our friend Kristen working on it. And she came up with this really cool design, which was kind of a chance, but we think it turned out great. So stick around, I'm gonna show you how we did it. Hi, my name is Bob, and I love my two-car garage. Now, first of all, we tried out different types of wood to see what would look the nicest. We ended up with just a maple. We wanted to use this right here, which is kind of a plain slice maple, but it just wasn't available. So we ended up with just a, a good grade, uh, B2 grade of plywood. Now, because we don't have forever in this room that we're building this, these panels in, we're going to build it on this mock-up wall right here. Build all our panels, manufacture them, stain them, lacquer them, and uh, then we're gonna go up in, the, in that room where it's gonna be and install it. So each of our panels, of course, need to be individually cut. So we're ripping them first on the table saw, and then we're gonna draw a 30 degree angle where we need our angles, and cut that with our little skill saw. And this little tool came in handy. Our little adjustable big drywall T-square. It's got angles on it. Pretty cool, huh? So around the edges here, we want this, these, each of these panels to stand off from the wall a little bit because we're gonna light them from behind. And so we're stapling on some three quarter inch plywood. And then we're gonna have a piece standing up on the edge to hold it off from the wall. Ran them along. Every once in a while, we gotta splice our plywood together because of the angles and stuff. It's over 48 inches. So we got this little cool tool right here, which is like a little wedge. It kinda clamps the pieces of plywood together. It works really well. Bought this about 35 years ago. Now along the edge right here, we used half inch plywood, but we want it to look a little thicker. So we're stapling on some quarter inch material to the edge, like that. And then we're gonna edge band it with some iron on edge banding. back side of each panel looks like this. We got a backer piece that holds off the little standoff piece and then we got a little piece of quarter inch plywood right there to make the whole thing thicker. So we sanded them now it's time to stain them and make them look pretty. On the back edge of each of these panels, we painted it black. That's just supposed to kind of go away and there's gonna be LED lighting right there. It took a couple weeks to make all these panels to get them stained and finished. And then we were ready for the installation. Now first we attached some nailer pieces to the wall. Like and we just used drywall anchors for that that worked great. and then we were ready to put the panels on the wall. So after we attached all those nailer pieces to the wall, then what we're gonna do, Dave is putting in some screws, and then we're just putting in some inch and five eighths or two inch screws into the side. Now the cool thing about the way we attach these is that we were able to not have any nail holes or screw holes on the, on the front by nailing either from the back side or from the side. So everything looks pretty and clean.
Okay, so what we're having to do is because we have to work around all these trusses and uh, ventilation pipes and stuff, air conditioning pipes. So what we're doing is we're making some templates out of cardboard and we're going to make sure that those fit and then we're going to cut out our nice pretty pieces because we don't want to cut the wrong holes in our pretty pieces. But we're really happy with the way this thing is turning out. These panels make a great contrast in this room and they kind of fit the overall architecture of this room. So this is coming along nicely. All right, well, it took us about four hours to fit that panel right there. Finally, we finished things off by running some LED lighting strip around each of these little grooves or each of these spaces here uh, to make it glow. It glows in all different colors, which is kind of cool. We had to use 110 rather than the low voltage stuff because we had some really long runs. And check out this little door we made for hiding all the electrical stuff. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? I'm kind of proud of that. I want to leave you with this proverb that says, do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before king. So you want to do your very best, people are going to notice. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.